uh hi in the previous unit uh, we have discussed about the information analysis need for the information analysis and uh, synthesis information analysis centers the difference between library information centers and information analysis center so various uh, steps involved in the analysis and uh, synthesis of the information so today uh, we will continue with the next unit information consolidation and repacking is very small and so here uh, only we will discuss the information consolidation and uh, repacking so in this unit uh, there are some barriers and uh, use of information in history evaluation of the concept of uh, information consolidation and uh, definition and information consolidation process in information consolidation so various uh, steps involved in the uh, information consolidation and uh, repacking so after uh, studying this unit you will be able to highlight the uh, impediment and the difficulties associated with the fruitful use of the existing information the concept of the information consolidation and uh, repacking trace the origin of the concept of information consolidation service and explain the process involved in the information consolidation so it also discussed the, how the concept of uh, appropriate or consolidated information developed develop uh, in conjunction with the concept of uh, appropriate technology and uh, technological transfer it also discussed and uh, will be able to assess the value and uh, the benefits consolidated the information of a different uh, user communities or uh, groups one minute so what is the uh, information consolidation information consolidation the response as the response to it is exercised by individuals departments and uh, or organizations for evaluating and uh, comprehensing relevant document in order to provide definite user groups with uh, reliable and uh, concise new bodies knowledge the individuals and the institutions or their components carrying out these in functions were referred as a information consolidated units so there are some working groups working on information consolidation it's the responsibility of these groups so individual departments and organizations for evaluating and compressing a relevant document in order to provide a definite user groups so as we all know there are uh, different variety of uh, group uh, users arriving and uh, uh, coming to the library and uh, coming to library for seeking their specific kind of information not only library there are other some groups or uh, departments are working which are giving the right information or exact uh, pin pointed information to the authorities or uh, individuals so in this process this is called information consolidation consolidation so there are some of the uh, few process of uh, information consolidation study of uh, users for uh, information consolidation selection of relevant information sources is very important studying the needs and requirement of the users then uh, consolidating it and uh, identifying the relevant information of uh, sources to the particular individual Uh, to give pin pointed information and also we have to evaluate the information then uh, we have to analyze and uh, synthesize of uh, information of the various steps involved in the analysis and synthesis we have studied in previous units then we have to restructure and uh, types of uh, products so we have to give some shape and uh, final base to the information which is to be supplied to the person or in any group 
packing and repacking of information so here packing means you are not packing any goods and materials you are you are giving the information in a systematic manner it's called a packing you are giving in a systematic manner to you are presenting in a systematic manner to the users or a group that is called a packing here and the dissemination and the communication is also very important steps in involved in the information consolidation we have to give in a systematic manner we have to give the adopt some a few important steps for disseminating that information which we have collected and uh, uh, studied as per the users needs and uh, you have selected and uh, evaluated and synthesized and analyzed the information you have to disseminate in a proper communication to the need then we, there are some uh, process involved in the marketing of the consolidated information products see when you go to any uh, research institution so there there are, there are some groups working on the uh, information marketing process they collect the information they evaluate and they disseminate it and they make it as a marketing source in various forms so if they also collect the feedback also is one of the important feedback of information consolidation of giving the right information and systematize the information you have to get the feedback of the users so where any problem or any kind of a, uh, these things has happened you have to evaluate and uh, you have to correct it and uh, represent it again the repacking process of information so in this unit you will study the information consolidated and various steps as per your study materials given to you then comes the next unit information analysis and uh, consolidation products in this unit we will study the different categories of information consolidated products we will review some and uh, related products definitions meaning are there so functions of uh, uh, you, uh, users and review problems of uh, productions and uh, methods of uh, evaluating the reviews some examples of the reviews also given and uh, there are uh, some uh, state of art reports handbooks trends reports technical digests that all you will study in the unit number 7 then here you will find some uh, different categories of information consolidated pro products for example i told you reviews reports data databases technical writings handbooks and uh, critical studies and uh, some of the request also you will study in this unit then comes in the block number 3 document delivery service so here you have three units for your uh, so unit uh, 8 9 and 10 covers the one minute huh? yeah in the unit 8, 8 covers document delivery services in detail with uh, respect to its uh, origin growth impact of a technology on the provision of the services and also discuss the types of documents delivery systems models for providing such a services it also covers activities of uh, some of the important documents delivery supply centers in the uh, britain canada and uh, france and as uh, within india so from the origin to growth level how the information is generated and uh, and uh, in which manner it has developed uh, by various hands and uh, we, they, this all uh, study will be covered by this unit so the impact of technological use for uh, providing a service of this information to various needs of the public or uh, any individual institutions all this will be studied in the unit 8 then comes the unit 9 is uh, exclusively devoted to the electronic document delivery service through online how you have to Uh, disseminate the information to the needed okay, how you have to uh, document delivery services you have to give so it covers the major electronic documents delivery systems so uh, edd s electronic document delivery systems operating in the world the unit also discuss how the availability of full text e journals and e books and the uh, internet has expanded uh, the scope of a uh, document delivery services using the 
various softwares are also available for uh, giving such uh, information and delivery uh, provision uh, there are uh, publishers producing e books nowadays and uh, e journals and all you have to uh, in in a norm manual process you will collect the book you will register into the accession register you will classify that uh, document you will give the uh, cataloging process to that document and you will sell the document in a, as per the uh, procedures in the classification subject wise you will sell whereas in the e books there are some e books uh, are also some of the institutions are subscribing the e books also so how you have to classify them and uh, these are things how you have to you cannot sell the e books in the into the library where you have to take uh, in the uh, hard disk and all you have to store it so there are some software greenstone digital library software uh, elib and many others uh, various softwares are available that will discuss in the uh, information communication technology part so in that uh, you have to again uh, classify them means you have to give separate folder and uh, easily searchable process to the users in the using the internet and uh, other uh, the library software using that you have to give uh, to arrange a document in a systematic manner where uh, readers can access easily in the electronic format so <coughs> the this unit also covers the activities of uh, some of the important uh, database are producers e journals publishers commercial online vendors and uh, e journal service providers as well as uh, uh, who have joined uh, electronic document delivery service market also and uh, this unit uh, points out the some of the problems associated with the dds document delivery service operators and uh, the role of uh, international organizations in addressing these problems these all we will study in the unit 9 it is given detailed in your course of study so then comes the unit 10 deals with the translation service is very important uh, service at the international or national level or any organizations who take international level working see the information is producing information is publishing in uh, not only in one single language in the across the world english is the only known communication language to all but uh, there are some information available published in a local language chinese japanese french anywhere you take so the translation service gives you uh, translation service helps uh, uh, readers to get uh, needed information in appropriate manner suppose any information is publishing in kannada or in any other language which is very useful to the reader of any other language the language barrier should be removed and uh, translation service should be given in a proper manner we will discuss the growth and development of importance of uh, translation service particularly in the field of uh, science and technology take for example there is a metlor or um, medi translation services uh, also given so it also covers the translation service provided by information centers in india and abroad uh, uh, abroad points out how lack of uh, funding has resulted in the closure of uh, international translation center along with the its uh, publications however increase in the use of uh, internet and the expansion of uh, global trade and international cooperation has increased the demand for a translation of electronic text on the internet such as a translation of web pages electronic mail electronic charts etc this unit describes the major machines translation systems operating in the world and research activities in the machine translation in india that all will be discussed in the unit number 10 you can go through the detailed in your study materials then comes fourth block that is on uh, web products and uh, services so in this unit it covers so various uh, three units so this block deals with the variety of web products and services the theme of this uh, block comprises of web sharing 
and uh, collaborative content development and uh, marketing initially initially the emphasis was on traditional information products and uh, services which later shifted to electronic products and services currently our attention is more focused on uh, web products services so whatever you are doing in the study in the manual systems that all should be practiced in the web pro products level the same procedures can be followed but uh, using the ict you have some good advantages of uh, gathering and uh, giving such a products and uh, giving uh, it in a systematic manner there are some barriers also in studying this unit so these new developments uh, have brought the significant change in the domain of uh, library and information science in order to keep uh, pace with these uh, changes there is a need for a more skilled uh, library information professors it's very important uh, based on your skill and your attitude and you can make better and better service to users community where you can give a good service so you have to always be remember that you are a lifelong learner being a lifelong learner you have to be updated uh, with the whatever latest trends and latest information latest uh, procedures latest ict developments is taking in the place you have to try to adopt and uh, give best service to your users finally the whatever you have studied here that all based depend on totally your skill and attitude if you are skilled then you will be your users will be well benefited uh, in your library so in this blog the unit 11 uh, <coughs> titled web sharing explains the various uh, web 2.0 applications and uh, tools and uh, how these can be used in libraries to reach out the potential users and uh, provide a better service to them the unit also discuss how the advent of uh, web 2.0 concept and uh, tools has uh, brought a sea change in the process of library services of today it also discuss the concept of a library 2.0 which involves applications of web sharing technologies of the to the library service and attempt has also made to demonstrate to students that about the sharing aspects of web with the help of relevant examples also discussed detailed in unit number 11 and comes to unit 12 Uh, on collaborative content development there are some organizations working collaboratively in the sharing basis of knowledge and information some process is also taking place in collaborative content development a number of uh, people users uh, stakeholders participate in the generation of uh, uh, content in this unit uh, discuss the details uh, the tools uh, details tools for uh, generating the contents it also explains the web content life cycle uh, framework with the help of examples further the unit explains the best practices for the development of collaborative content and also its implication in the libraries so the collaborative content uh, development is one of the very important process nowadays taking in the library so different groups or different peoples uh, uh, two organization with the same objectives and uh, in the collaborative basis uh, they are developing they are generating, generating uh, some of the contents so in the uh, unit uh, you will discuss that various tools to be adopted in generating the contents and it's a uh, sharing explains the web content and uh, what is the life cycle of a uh, framework uh, within the help of some examples of discussed in the unit 12 then comes unit 13 deals with the content of uh, web marketing some business process also is taken in the process here after producing this uh, web uh, contents the web marketing is also important in so nowadays many users when they need a information they will go to any such a information supply or information providing the institution there are number of uh, a number of uh, uh, organizations working to provide a Uh, important needed information to the researchers or any group people so they will charge it uh, for the process entire process they cannot freely uh, available to you so there are some uh, 
procedures to be followed in the web marketing also is a very important one. In this unit, uh, theoretical as well as the practical aspects of a web marketing and its applications to library and information services. It also explains web marketing tools, techniques and uh, strategies, which can be uh, applied uh, in the area of uh, library and uh, uh, information service to design effective strategies in the web environment. So what are the procedures, what are the ethical needs and uh, ethical uh, important stance to be followed here in this unit we will discuss. So all details you can see in your study materials. So with this I think we have to conclude the information products and service. Uh, tomorrow we will go, actually uh, Dr. C. Krishnamurti is supposed to take a classification and a cataloging. So due to some his uh, uh, personal things, he is not able to attend. So I'll continue the classification and cataloging. Even uh, we'll go for uh, uh, information management uh, organizations and management. This all will study in the next unit. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue at the same time, four o'clock. If any, I'll put a message in the uh, group. Please follow. If morning, if you're available, then also we can uh, take the classes. <laughs> These things. Okay. So here we. We'll Stop and tomorrow we'll continue with the same timing with the another one subject. Okay, thank you very much for coming online. Here we the session is ending now. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, sir.